Hello, great travellers. Today I'm going to be talking about a subject that terrifies even the bravest of us all. Bravest of us all. A subject that relates to children between the ages of 5 to 8 around the world. Yes, dear followers, we'll be talking about teeth at the point of their life when they have done their best in helping you to whatever you threw at them and now they are ready to fall out. If only they just dropped out and we can go back to our lives doing what we do best. They don't fall out but stay around for that bit longer to irritate you a few more days. Have a look at mine. This has just been hanging there for about five days. I feel so frustrated and when you're frustrated you're annoyed. That's just not good. Let's talk about the subject in a totally different way. Different. Everyone has experienced this pain at least once in their lifetime. This tooth problem goes back generations, caused mainly by not eating the right stuff like Charlie over here. Or in my case, my milk tooth decided to drop out. Mr Bean has volunteered to demonstrate the all-time favourite technique using a dog. Well, to tell you the truth, I wasn't expecting anything more from Mr Bean. Tooth problems happen unexpectedly. Imagine chewing gum on a bus trip to school. The pain reminds you of your dad when he removed your brother's wobbly tooth. You find some string in your pocket, but wait. You just realise that buses don't have hinged doors. Transport is a no-no. Imagine how dangerous it would be if you decided to use the exit door on a plane. <laughs> Let's not go there. Or shall we? Of course we should. OMG! What's he doing? Whoa! When a friend offers help in the time of need and you lash out in defence, I bet they're not friends anymore. Lol. Enemies in now, I bet. Ha! What you want to avoid is going to the doctors. Yes, people. We're talking about the endless queue at the GPs that causes an argument and ends up like a scene from Street Fighter. Hiya! Hiya! All that the doctor gives you no medicine. My advice for my followers is gargle on salty water to keep your gum clean. Thank you for the demo, Mr. Bean. Yes, Mr. Tooth, this is good for you and your mates. And if the tooth needs removing, then the dentist is the best person to approach. Cut down on the junk food. Not to such an extreme, Charlie. And your next visit to the dentist will be easy peasy, lemon school wazy. I haven't been watching, but I have been showing you other ways of how to take out a loose tooth. If you haven't chose any of those, I'm going to be doing them for the big point. So, I am going to be doing a technique that is not for the faint-hearted, but for the strong, oh. with my bare hands. Okay, people, so before I take out my tooth, I don't think I'll be able to talk, so please press the like button, subscribe, comment down below, and put, press those thumbs up. And if you have any ideas for my next 
the video, do the comments down below. And three, two, one, here goes the thing. Oh, look, he's here. Look at that. Guys, if you like this video, please turn up some guys. Goodbye.